Hello guys, this is Gurudeep here from Infiction Labs. So, this is a tutorial on how to use the SIM 800C evaluation board. So, basically this is the SIM 800C evaluation board uh, which is made by makers and hackers. So, this is a quite pretty small board which has the power supply and also the TTL output. Let me tell you some of the features of SIM 800C. So SIM 800C is a GSM GPRS module. Uh, so this is basically a 2G module which has uh, all the uh, like features like uh, you can do a voice call, you can send SMS, you can receive SMS, you can also update data to your G uh, through GPRS you can use it as a small IOT device or you can build any application on this SIM 800C as you see here is like very small and uh, the module size is like 17 by 16.5 by 7 mm so it's very uh, pretty easy to use and it has all the AT command sets embedded into it and uh, through AT command you can communicate and make this module operate so SIM 800C evaluation board can be used as either a standalone device or you can connect it to your PC and through PC you can start communicating. This evaluation board is completely Arduino compatible. So to connect it to the PC there, there are two methods. One you can use a USB to TTL converter or you can use a Arduino Uno without the IC. To make it work as a standalone device you can use Arduino with the IC and program the IC. Let me demonstrate you on how to do the connections to the Arduino Uno. So you need four jumper wires. So uh, here as you see there are four pins. So one is the VCC, ground, TX and RX. So uh, similarly on the Arduino, if you can see there is VCC 5 volts, there is ground and on the other side there is TX and RX. So while connecting it to your Arduino you know, connect it to VCC, ground, TX and RX. Okay, so only these four pins uh, can be connected, uh, and then you can insert the SIM into the SIM slot. So on the other side the ground pin from the logic board goes to the ground and then the VCC goes to plus 5 volts input and while using it without the IC you will have to do a straight connection that is from TX to TX of uh, the UNO and TX RX to RX of the UNO. So, so I'm taking this is the LO1 as the RX pin goes to the RX of the UNO. And uh, the red one is the TX which goes to the TX of the UNO. That's how it is connected. Now let's connect it to the PC and start checking the board. The next step is to power up the device. You can power up the device by connecting the USB cable from the PC to your Arduino you know.
so there are basically two leds here one the red led is a power led and the green is the signal led and it also sta uh, says the status of the module so this fast blink rate means it is trying to seek the mobile signals so once it is stable the blink rate will be slower than this so right now you can see it is continuously restarting so it is the same process that is happening that means there is no enough current available so what you can do is either connect to a high speed usb cable or for the arduino you know itself to the power jack you can connect another power supply so it can be a 6 volts power supply so now you can see the LED has been stabilized so that means uh, the module is ready to use and it is ready for communication let's see how to use the Arduino IDE and uh, uh, check uh, some of the AT commands you have to open the Arduino IDE and uh, just open some new file after that computer right click on it go to manage so in your manage go to device manager and then go to ports ok so now the Arduino you know is connected to COM7 so open the IDE in the IDE go to tools select Arduino you know in the boards then go to tools go to ports and select com7 so since we have connected without ic uh, we are using arduino use you know as a usb to ttl device so you can just open the serial monitor here so to test you can just press at so if it replies ok that means the connection is fine at plus csq equal to question mark this uh, tells you the signal strength so this status tells it has acquired the signal and uh, uh, you can get a number between 0 to 31 and 0 to 7 it should not be 0000, 0, 0, 0. so if the sim card is not available then it will be 00, 0. Uh, and uh, on your data sheet uh, you can uh, we have uh, in the manual we have included the links where you can download the AT command data sheet also you can get the hardware files and there are few code examples uh, which you can try out and uh, start developing the sim 800c module so the only thing that you have to be careful is the connections that is VCC ground 5 volts uh, you need to give VCC as 5 volts so it will support uh, because there is a regulator inside uh, you can directly connect uh, 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 since there is a regulator on board you can connect the uh, 5 volt supply or you can give up to 12 volts also which supports and uh, RX and TX is a straight connection without the IC or not even you know and is cross connected when there is an IC uh, the power supply if the current is uh, very less then there will uh, the signal strength at the LED status will not get stabilized so make sure that you can connect a different power supply or uh, you can give an alternate extra power supply or use a higher speed USB connection thank you